Hey everyone, it's piano time. <laughs> now let's see here. There it goes. Hi. <laughs> nice to see everybody. Happy Friday. It's the end of the week, so we're feeling good, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hi, everybody. Hi, Claire. Hi, Miss Laura. I think Lincoln's online. Very good to have you guys online with me. So we have a lot of amazing stuff to go over today for our music. Um, but before we get started, of course, what do I like to do? Can you like and share this video for me? Every single like and every single share helps me. So please hit that button. Okay. The next thing is, of course, if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, <laughs> it makes it easy because if you miss a lesson, you can go back and watch it at your own convenience, right? So maybe like you're encountering some tricky stuff in your music and your practice and you're like, oh, I wonder what Miss Izzy said about that. You can go back and watch the video again. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? All right, next, of course, is if you haven't joined the private Facebook group, you're missing out, right? We have a lot of fun in that group. Friends and students post their videos. I provide review and some tips. If you're having trouble with something, you can ask a question on there and I will do my best to help you work through those tricky spots in your songs, okay? So do your best, okay? The next thing, of course, is I am on Patreon, <laughs> right? So I've mentioned this before. Patreon is a really cool platform for creative people like myself <laughs> to um, collect a steadier income, right? So if you're wanting to make regular donations to keep these piano lessons coming, um, then sign up for a tier on Patreon, okay? I have tiers as low as $5 a month, right? Can you think about that? Actual piano lessons with a real teacher for five bucks a month? That's a steal. <laughs> yeah, like, so $5 a month, $10 a month, 20 or $50 a month, right? And each tier, if you sign up for something a little bit higher, you get a little bit of extra stuff from me, okay? And I'm actually gonna have a little special, right? For the next, like, three or four weeks, I'm gonna basically invite you to join Patreon officially. And if you do, your name, all, every single patron's name is gonna be thrown into a hat for a raffle for some, uh, I guess, some free private sessions with me, okay? So I'll have a little bit more about that um, in the group I'll talk about. So that way, um, sign up for Patreon and then you're gonna be entered into that raffle, okay? All right, awesome. Well, let's get started on our music, okay? <laughs> oh, there it is. There we go. Yay! Oh, y'all like my glasses. That's good. Yes, I got some of those really cool blue light glasses because I'm on the computer so much more now. So it's good for me to, like, keep my eyes healthy, right? So I figured you would like them. I had to get, like, a, fun a funky color, right? So I got, like, blue. Anyway, let's pull out our lesson books, okay? <laughs> All right, so we, last week, we were doing Money Can't Buy Everything on page 37 and Rock and Tune on page 38, okay? And that one was dealing with the flat sign, so that one was a little bit trickier. I think, let's see if we can play through Money Can't Buy Everything together and we'll see how it goes, okay? I, I'm feeling confident because I watched some really good videos in the group. I know you guys are doing a great job, so... Let's switch to piano view and we will do our best to get through Money Can't Buy Everything. Hi, Linnea. I'm glad you could join us. <laughs> All right, switch into piano view. Okay, so I've got my music here. I know that this song is going to be in C position, so I'm going to put that right hand thumb on my middle C, okay? I fanned out the rest of my fingers. I'm going to count down one, two, three, and there is my left hand thumb, okay? Now I know that this song is forte to start. We are in 4-4 four, four time, and we've got that F sharp and D sharp in this song, okay? I'm gonna count off. Let's play it together. One, two, ready, play.
think you guys did awesome. How are you feeling? Pretty good? Like, you should totally be doing, like, a two-second party today, because that was actually kind of hard, and it was four lines long. So let's do a two-second party. You guys ready? <laughs> let's do it. All right. Two-second party, two-second party, two-second party, two-second party. Yeah, all right. That was awesome. Yeah, and actually, one of my students this week uh, named Lincoln, he came up with a really funny, um, a funny cheer called is it tin foil microwave? Is that what you called it? <laughs> it's very silly, right? So basically you put the foil in the microwave, right? Which is not a good thing. And then you hit beep, 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 that microwave. And then it goes zzz, poof, and it blows up, right? But instead of blowing up like an actual microwave, we're just blowing up with excitement because you did an amazing job on your song. <laughs> so you can also do that, um, uh, tin foil microwave <laughs> cheer if you feel like it. It's definitely unique. <laughs> Great job on Money Can't Buy Everything. I'm proud of you guys, okay? Now, let's turn the page. I know that the uh, rocket tune was a little bit tricky, right? Because it was talking about those flat signs, right? Some, sometimes we can get sharps and flats confused, but it always matters the the direction in which you're going, right? So remember, the sharp sign means you're gonna play the next note to the right, whether black or white, right? And then a flat sign means you're gonna play the next note to the left, whether black or white, okay? I'm gonna switch to piano view and I wanna demonstrate this really quickly so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about, okay? All right, let's take a quick peek. This is a review, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna actually play a G, okay? I want you to look here at this G, all right? This G, you see, that's typically where I put my pinky finger five if I'm in C position. That G, let's see if we can sharp it, okay? Remember, sharp means you're gonna move it this way, right? One note to the right, all right? So I'm gonna sharp this G up to here. Do you see that? Let me do that again. Here's my regular G and here's my G sharp. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my regular G. Okay. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to go this way, left. We're going to flat it. Okay. That means we're going to go one note to the left whether black or white. In this case, it's another black note, right? So we're gonna go down here, right? So that's a G flat, right? So a G sharp is here, and then a G flat is there, okay? Do you see how that works? It, it'll get easier as we learn more flats, okay? So I'm gonna switch back over here. I hope that helped you a little teeny bit. I know it's a little bit of confusing sometimes when you're like, oh, well that's a G flat, but it's also an F sharp. That is true, and we're gonna talk about that too, but not today, all right? Let's dive into rock and tune, okay? I have a feeling that we're gonna keep rock and tune for one more week only because the flats can be a little tricky, but not just the flats. We also have tied notes in there, right? We also have a repeat sign that we need to talk about. And we have to talk about the tempo, right? <laughs> so let's play through rock and tune together, okay? And then we're gonna talk about some interesting things that make it a tricky song, even though it's two lines long, all right? piano view. All right. Now this one's in G position. So I'm going to find my right hand G. I have my thumb on that G. And then I notice that my left hand finger four, if it's in C position, is where my thumb is going to go. So you notice the hands are really far apart, right? Look at that. Now rock and tune. I'm gonna play through it nice and slowly, okay? And we're gonna do our best to keep up. Then we're gonna talk about it and break it down and work together on it, okay? 
Let me count off. One, two, ready, play. Fantastic. Okay, let's talk about rock and tune. Okay, if you got through and you did a good job, I am super proud of you. Okay, I think we could still make it a little bit better though. And this is this is what I'm talking about. Okay, when we are practicing our piano songs, we can get the notes right, and I'm sure you're doing a fabulous job with your notes. But there's more to music than the notes, right? There is, right? We have tempo. That's how fast or slow we play. We have dynamics. That's how loud or soft we play. There's the way we play the note, whether it be separated or legato with slurs, right? We even have stuff like tied notes that we have to talk about, right? There's lots of different things going on in our music, more than just the notes. And that's why I think that rock and tune could use one extra week, okay? Think of it like you're gonna give it a little bit of extra sparkle, okay? <laughs> yes, we're gonna make it sparkle, which means you're gonna make it as awesome and glittery and fantastic and fabulous as possible by adding all those extra things that make it cool and special, okay? All right, so let's talk about this. In the right hand, I'm noticing that our intervals are very important here, right? Yes, we have melodic thirds, right? G, G, B, D, those are melodic intervals. And then we have melodic second. And then it throws in that B flat. Remember, that's with your finger three. There it is, very good. Next, the next line is the same thing. We have melodic thirds. And then surprise, they throw that B flat at you again, okay? B flat, G, and then A, and you end on a G. Very good. Y'all are doing great. Oh, hey, Aubrey. Hi, Shanika. <laughs> yeah, so that's actually good. Like we we're able to really get in there and work on those intervals, right? Now with the left hand, just looking at the left hand, it doesn't look like a whole lot, does it? But we have a tied note in there, right? And in some of the videos that I watched in the group, we had forgotten to hold that C finger too for the full eight beats. Can you believe that? That's a lot of beats, okay? So I'm just gonna play through that left hand a little bit more, okay? I'll count off and let's see if you can play it with me together, okay? One, two, ready, play.
as you're practicing this week this song. You may have the notes really good, right? But let's see if you can practice it a little bit quicker this week, right? So the tempo, it says moderately fast. <gasps> moderately fast? Well, what does that mean? Does it mean fast or does it mean slow? Or is it like somewhere in the middle? What do you think? <laughs> you let me know. Where, where, where do you think it is? In the middle? Is it cheetah fast? No, I don't think it's cheetah fast. That would be too fast, huh? Well, or could it be, um, what do you think? Is it more like bunny rabbit fast, you think? I think it's a little bit more like bunny rabbit fast, but maybe there's one that's a little bit better to determine what our tempo should be. What about puppy dog speed? That's, he can run fast, right? He can run fast, but he can also go a little bit slow, right? He's kind of in the middle. So let's do like puppy dog moderately fast, okay? How does that sound? Yes, I think that's a great idea. All right, so. If you want to hear what it sounds like, I think Claire said, can you play it fast for us? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example of the tempo, okay? So the tempo that I think is too fast, cheetah fast, would be this. I'll switch to piano view. So too fast would be like this. instead, right? I think that might be better. I have another animal here. Oh, yes, okay. But then the opposite of super cheetah fast would be, remember my friend, snail slow. <laughs> so snail slow, no, he's not the right tempo either, is he? <laughs> Too slow. Puppy dog speed, right? So moderately fast. Let's see if we can play it moderately fast. This is about the tempo that we're going to work towards, okay? One, two, ready, play. Isn't that a lot better? <laughs> I think that's a lot better, huh? That's, that's more like puppy dog speed. You can keep up with him. He's not too fast, but he's not slow either. He's like in the middle, right? So keep that in mind as you're practicing, okay? We are going to uh, keep rock and tune, like I said, on page 38, but we have to get a new song too, okay? Now, the new song is kind of a hard one, so I'm only going to give you the first two lines of it, okay? Look at page 39, okay? Now, page 39 has a song called The Clown. Oh my goodness gracious. Now, I'm not a big fan of clowns unless I dress up like one. Then it feels a little bit not as scary. <laughs> but there's a couple things that's really cool about this song. We have two flats in this song, okay? That's why I only want to give you the first half of it, okay? So if you want... Put a double, double lines at the end of that second line. Do you see that there? Yes. All right. Now, this one's going to be in that G position again. Okay? G position. So you've got your left hand thumb on that D where your finger four was for middle C position, or C position. And then your right hand is on that thumb G, right? And then look at the two flats that they have written there on the piano map. You're going to be doing an A flat and a B flat. That's actually kind of a lot. <laughs> that's two flats and that's a little bit a little bit tricky, huh? We have a lot of interesting stuff on this, huh? You also see the blue box. Did you see the blue box at the top? 
This is an accent sign. Do you see that thing? It kind of looks like a mini, a mini diminuendo, right? It's like this, like a little crocodile <laughs> or scissors. So the accent sign is very interesting because it means that if it's written above a note or below a note, you're going to give it a little bit more attack, okay? It's pretty cool. It's like just that one note is going to be louder than the others, okay? So if you look through your music, you can take your pencil. And I see some accent signs at the end of the first line, okay? So take that pencil and you can circle those two chords, right? Looking at the second line, I see another accent mark. It's like in the third measure of the second line in the right hand. Do you see it? It's on that B flat, okay? I'm gonna circle that one too, okay? This is a really interesting song and it's kind of a hard song too, okay? So we're gonna play just the first two lines for this um, lesson, okay? And I'm gonna switch to piano view so we can learn the left hand first, okay? Let's do it. All right, so. The Clown, page 39. We're in G position and we're gonna start just with the left hand, okay? So this is my C position, right? But I need to put my thumb where my finger four left hand is. So I'm gonna go ahead and fan it out there. All right. Now this is really interesting because it begins with a finger one and then it skips down to a finger three. But it's not a regular finger three. What kind of finger three is that? Oh yeah, it's a B flat. So I'm gonna put that finger three on that black key, okay? All right, let's see how it goes. It travels down by thirds. I'm gonna count off. One, two, ready, play. One, three, two. measure of rest two three four line two one down two three two down two four three down two five and four hold with a bend two three four and a tie two three four oh, very good that was a little bit <gasps> It was a little bit creepy, wasn't it? <laughs> that left hand's a little bit scary. That's okay, though, okay? We're going to get through this, okay? The left hand is exciting, though, because it has that combination. It's skipping down by thirds as you're going through the music, okay? Yes, it's very, very interesting, okay? Did you play your legato? Because there's a big, long slur, isn't there? Yeah. There's slurs like all over this music. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> I think let's try the left hand part again, okay? And we're gonna say, we're gonna do it um, with saying the note names this time, okay? How does that sound? Pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, Linnea's scared of clowns too. Yeah, you know, they're not the, they're kind of creepy. <laughs> That's okay. All right, let's switch to piano view. Okay, G position. I'm gonna put that thumb on that low D and fan out my fingers, okay? I'm gonna go through saying the note names this time, left hand only, all right? Let's count off. One, two, ready, play. Good guys, yes, 
little by little it's getting there okay keep it up all right now let's talk about the right hand okay the right hand has a pretty simple pattern of going up your hand from finger one to finger five but then it has this really weird looking second doesn't it look at the end of that first line what do you see there that thing's ugly <laughs> It looks like it's a G and an A flat, fingers one and two, and it has an accent mark. Oof, I wonder what that sounds like. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> and then the end of the second line is when it comes back, and it looks like it's just going to be G, A, B flat, A, G. So just three notes, right? Not so bad for the right hand. All right, so let's see if we can play through the right hand. I'm gonna say my finger numbers as we play, okay? The count off is gonna be a little weird because you know this song starts with the left hand. So I'm gonna be counting a lot of beats of silence, okay? So don't let that surprise you, okay? All right, let's switch. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna put my right hand thumb G position on that G, all right? I'll thin out those fingers. All right, I'm gonna count off. Remember, we still have all of those beats of rest for the left hand, so just listen to me as I count, all right? One, two, ready, play. Left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand, hold to right hand. One, two, B flat, three, one and two together and again. Ooh, that's ugly. <laughs> Left hand playing all alone. Hold right hand. One, two, three, B flat, two, and a one, two, three, four. How was that? Was that kind of weird? <laughs> Wasn't that chord ugly? That one and two together? Take a listen. Ew. <laughs> it reminds me of the robot. Doesn't it remind you of the robot? <laughs> Maybe the clown and the robot are like friends or something. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. You never know. They might be friends. All right. So let's see if we can play that right hand um, part again on these first two lines of the clown. Okay. And we are going to do it by saying the note names this time, okay? All right, let's give it a try. All right, I'm going to count off. And I'm going to actually say the, the lyrics here. Why not? All right. One, two, ready, play. See the funny, funny clown. G Okay, now you probably noticed, <laughs> you probably noticed that I didn't really go into the dynamics much, right? The accent sign, I was supposed to play the, that funny chord with accents, right? It's supposed to be louder. And then also that B flat on the second line. I still need to work on that, right? And we didn't even talk about the crescendo and the diminuendo that we had in there. There's a lot in this song, huh? Now you know why I only gave you two lines, right? <laughs> That's okay. As you progress in piano, you're realizing some songs take longer than others to learn. And there is nothing wrong with that, right? Because you're on your own piano journey. You're not a genius at this piano stuff. You still need help. You still have to practice. Miss Izzy still has to practice too. <laughs> but that's okay, right? We're, we're in this together and we're helping each other learn, okay? 
So if it takes a little bit longer to learn a song, that's okay. Nobody said that there's like a deadline and we have to meet. Do we have to turn this into somebody? No. <laughs> you just have to submit your video and then I help you through it, right? That's it. <laughs> so I kind of want to just play the clown for you, the first two lines, so you can see what it's supposed to sound like, okay? How does that sound? Awesome. I'm so proud of you guys. Wow, what a good way to end the summer, huh? Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna start in my G position, okay? I have my right hand, oop, that's my left hand. <laughs> my left hand thumb on D below middle C, and I have my right hand thumb on G above middle C, okay? I'm gonna count off, and I want you to listen carefully so we can play through this together, okay? Use your listening ears. All right, one, two. Ready, play. but it's also pretty tricky, okay? There's a lot to remember, right? Yes. So don't worry. Remember, you have me this coming Monday for practice with me. So join me Monday so we can get this practicing done together on the, this tricky song, okay? I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are the best. I think that Linnea asked about doing the chili cheer. I don't really know the chili cheer. Is it the one where we're shivering? Is that the one, Linnea? Yeah, that might be it. Okay, so let's do the chili cheer, all right? So we're gonna go, Ugh. <laughs> You ready? Chili cheer! It's <laughs> freezing. I can't wait for it to get cold. <laughs> it's so hot here in Texas. <laughs> yes, okay. Well, moving on. We don't have any theory this week because last week I gave you the page uh, 29 about flats, right? Yeah, so it's the page 20, um, what was it? 29 about flats. So if you haven't done it yet, this you got an extra week to do it, okay? Make sure you work on that page, all right? Very, very good. All right, quick reminder, yes, I am on Patreon. <laughs> Go ahead and join your Patreon, okay? Pick a tier that works for you. Now's the time to do it, right? Because as we're gearing up for the fall with all of the classes that I'm still going to be offering you guys, um, I would love to get some support from you guys out there, right? Remember, if you join Patreon, every single name that's a patron right now, well, at the end of my raffle, will be thrown into a hat. And then I'm going to pick out a couple names from there, and I'm going to give you a free private piano lesson. Oh my gosh, think about that. You get Miss Izzy all to yourself? <sighs> Sounds like a dream, right? <laughs> yes! So go ahead and sign up for Patreon if you haven't done that already. I have 29 patrons right now. I would love to have more, all right? The more the merrier, right? That's That way we have more fun. All right, I'll take that down. Thank you. And last but not least, we end with a music quote, right? Yes, our music quote. And this one's actually a really good one. All right, so our music quote from today comes from the American novelist, Sarah Dessen. And this is what she says, okay? Music is the great uniter, an incredible force, something that people who differ on everything and anything else can have in common. That sounds about right. Music really does have a lot of power, doesn't it? You can have like a ton of people that, you know, they, they don't agree with one thing and then another group of people, they don't agree on another. But then you start music and that's just a way for everybody to sort of chill 
and everybody to feel better, right? That's the power of music. And lucky you, you're starting to make your own kind of music here at the piano, huh? I'm proud of you guys. You're doing such a great job. Oh, I couldn't ask for a better group of people and students. Yes, it's going to be so much fun. All right, we'll have a lovely break. We have, I think, two weeks off before we start the fall session, okay? I'm going to go on a little trip with my family so I can have a little vacation, but I'll be back, okay? And we might have a bonus song while I'm out, okay? So keep your eye on the group, all right, everyone? I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you Monday for practice, okay? Bye.